Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise and I am a professional makeup artist and a first time mom and today I am showing you how to get these easy BG waves using just a straightener. So if you want to find out how to do this hairstyle, then just keep watching. Let's go! Alright, so I have clean hair right now. I just went through with my blow dryer. I used the Revlon um, one step volumizing blow dryer. I will link it in the description bar below. It's the only blow dryer that I use and it just like round brushes your hair essentially like, and it is like the best blow dryer I have ever used and I did straighten my bangs already just because if you have bangs you know that if you just leave them they look ridiculous. So here's what we're going to be using today. We're not using a lot of products. I've got a one inch straightening iron. This is, oh god I don't even know what this is. I don't know, plugged in, oh, plugged in from Sally's. That's what this is. I've had this for 10 years. It is nothing new or anything fancy. It like rattles and shakes where it shouldn't, but it has always done the trick for me and I just can't give it up. It's one of those things, I just can't give it up. And we're also gonna be needing a fine tooth comb. I like this one because it's got a really nice pointed end on one side. And then at the end, we'll be going in with like a hair mist by Sexy Hair. And it is essentially just a moisturizing like dry oil. So you can use that or there's always the like smoothing creams, that kind of stuff. So we are going to start, I've got a clip here. We're gonna start by clipping off and sectioning your hair. So when I'm doing my curls like this, I really like to work in smaller sections. Also, I don't have bad hair extensions. This is postpartum hair loss regrowth. I know, I'm 20 months postpartum, postpartum, well, it's hard to say, and so you're gonna notice that I have all these regrowth pieces. They don't look cute, but I can't change it, so here we are. <laughs> um, I'm gonna clip off my hair, just like this, and you wanna work in sections for this. I find it's easiest to work in sections. And then I split it down the middle and I pull it forward. And I'm just gonna work one side, so I'm gonna show you how I do it, and then we're gonna speed through it because you don't wanna sit here and watch me curl my hair for like 30 minutes. You're gonna be working in about one inch sections, one to two inch sections, just like this. And with your curling iron, you're gonna start by smoothing out the roots, just like that. And I'm gonna show you how I do it, and then I'll explain it in a second. So I essentially am going to be working, I start working the curls away from my face and pulling down towards the ends, just like that. And then I run my fingers around that curl just to reform it again, like that. So the motion that you're doing, this is kind of where it gets tricky. I actually suggest that you try to figure out this motion when your curling iron's not on because you do not want your heat on your hair for very long. And I would hate for you guys to like burn off your hair. You know that meme where the girl's like doing the curling iron and then it just like pulls off? We don't want any of that today. So you're gonna clamp your hair at the root, twist it halfway, and then you're gonna pull it down towards the end. And we're going to work away from our face with a couple of pieces going in the opposite direction because we want the curls to stay broken up. So we're gonna pick the next piece. And I vary the thickness of hair, so some might be thick like this, others may be smaller, and I just find it gives a much more natural finish to the curl. You're going to, oh my gosh, it's like stuck on things. Let's run it through, twist it about three inches away from the root, and then pull it down. And then you wrap your finger around so that you get your curl, just like this. Now don't touch your curls, sorry, it's like hard for you to see because my hair is so long. Uh, you do not want to touch your curls until the very end of this. So let them stay tight and curled like this. And then we're going to go back and I'll show you what to do after. So this piece, because I've just done two going away from my face, I'm actually going to curl it towards my face. So I take it and curl it in the opposite direction. This one's always harder to do. I don't know why. <laughs> I just pull it down that way. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my hair, we're just going to speed through this.
Okay, so that is our first layer done. So like I said, we're just gonna leave it, let it sit, let it cool. We're gonna work our way through the rest of the head. I'm actually gonna pop off camera because my camera battery is dying. I had a like brain fart moment and I forgot to charge my camera after filming last. So I'm gonna try and preserve my battery life. I'm gonna hop off camera, finish my head, the rest of my head, and I'm gonna show you how I do the top layer and then how we get the really nice beachy curl. So I'll be right back. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out on any more videos from me. Back to the tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone through my whole head here, except for the top layer, and I've just curled everything. I've been alternating away from my face and towards my face, depending on where it is. Um, but it was pretty random, which is what gives you a really natural looking curl. So don't stress about that too much, as long as you're alternating every couple. I keep all my curls around my face, away, like turning away from my face. And then I usually around the back to middle section will throw in a couple curls towards my face because what that does is it just avoids all of your curls falling into the same shape as it falls so you want to try and like alternate it it just gives you a much bouncier um, like separated curl so now for the top layer I'm just gonna push all that back and remember we haven't touched our curls so don't don't brush them out don't do anything like that I'm just gonna fix my mirror here so for my bangs what I did was I just took them and I like swept them back this way so they just fall into the curls but they're not actually curled so we're gonna take down this top layer and what happens, so what sometimes happens with your curls is if you curl them at the same level or too low, you'll find that the top of your head can look kind of flat and the rest of your hair looks really voluminous. So you kind of get this like triangle hair looking thing. So um, when I do my top layer, I try to bring my curls as close to the root as possible because I do go back through and straighten and brush everything out. But you want to keep that volume up at the root because that's where you're going to get that really nice full looking hair that doesn't look like your head's just like a comb, you know? <laughs> okay, so starting with this front section here, and I just brush through it with my comb. I'm going to smooth out the root because you don't want any frizzies. And then we're going to keep it really nice and close there so you can see it's right at the root. And then we're just going to slowly pull it down and out. To the end and yes it looks absolutely crazy right now but I promise you by the end it's just like beautiful bouncy curls and then the next one we're gonna do away from our face again so get that root there I have really curly hair so I have to blow dry my hair straight before I do this but I like to really hit those roots just to make sure that um, there's no curls left behind or frizzy. We want our curls to be intentional, not the like crazy curls that you get if you leave your hair naturally for some people. And the next one I'm doing is I'm gonna go towards my face. So we'll hit here. And then we're gonna pull this curl in the opposite direction. Just like that. And then wrap it. Okay, and we're gonna do that all the way around your head. So that's all of our curls, all of our hair done looking crazy like Shirley Temple but that's okay so now we're just gonna let this cool for a couple minutes so this is a great time to finish your makeup or to go get dressed or do whatever and then we're gonna come back in a second and I'm gonna show you how to brush it all out so you get those really beautiful beachy waves okay we're in the final steps now so what we're gonna do my hair and my curls have just they've cooled we are going to brush them out so you're gonna take your hands and just run your fingers to break up those curls so this is your first step in loosening them up a little bit just like that. So now they look a little better. This is where the magic happens. So you're gonna take your straightener, and this sounds so counterintuitive, but you're gonna take your straightener and you're gonna start, you're gonna start at your end and you're gonna straighten the ends. And especially up at the front here, I like my curls to be a little bit longer. So I just go through and then I take my straightener and I run it through everything just randomly until it looks the way I want it to. 
and I actually prefer, oh my god, but I'm in like this crazy setup right now because of all of the cords. <clears throat> and I'm like getting stuck. Okay, so right, <laughs> where was I? This is too much for me, so I'm gonna take my curling iron or my flat iron and I'm going to flatten out around my face a little bit, but I'm gonna leave some volume up at the root back here. I think this is, well, let's just take it a little bit. So you kind of have to play around with it depending on where you want your volume to be sitting, but that actually looks pretty good for me. It's like loose and beachy, but not too crazy. So I'm gonna do the other side now. I'm just gonna straighten the ends and run that through. Man, I am like really contorting here for you guys to see how this is working. <laughs> oh, the things you do for content, right? And as you'll see, I'm just running the straightener through it with my fingers until it looks pretty good. Until it looks the way that I want it to. I'm gonna straighten this bit a little bit here so that my bangs blend a little better. And that looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Okay, I'll put this. Turn off your straightener. This is your reminder to turn off your straightener. How many times have you gone to leave your house or left your house and gone, oh my god, I forgot to turn off my straightener? Okay, so this is like you could leave this here. I'm gonna go one step further because I like my curls to look really nice and shiny. I'm gonna take my shine spray. And you do not want to put this at your root. Do not spray it anywhere up here. You're going to take it and just spray it through your ends, moving your hair around because this kind of stuff can make your hair look really greasy if you're not careful. And that's it. Beachy, bouncy curls that are like perfect for Valentine's Day. It also looks great when you've slept on it, if you know what I mean. This is a style that I will do my hair one day and it will continue to last until I wash it and it always looks good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's tons more coming out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend, comment. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day because as a mom, I pretty much just stay in. So I would love to live through you guys. So let me know what you're doing. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!